Hey guys, it is Courtney and I am back with another video. In the last video, I showed you guys how to use Rolly with Omnisphere. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use your Rolly with contact. So let's go. The first thing you wanna do is pull up your dashboard for Rolly. Make sure that it's on multi, off, and make sure your pitch bend range is on 12. In the Omnisphere video, it was on 24, but for contact, um, it has to be on 12. So now we can minimize that. And now you're gonna click the wrench on your contact bank, and you're gonna go to group editor, and you're gonna click edit all groups. Once you've done that, you can close the group editor, and you can go to mod here, and you're going to, if it doesn't already have, you're going to add um, external sources and pitch bend. Now that we've added the pitch bend, um, we're going to change this to 12 to match what we put on the Rolly dashboard. And now our pitch bend should work on our Rolly. <laughs> And it does, which is good. So when we change this um, MIDI CC to 74 instead of the 106, this will, the slide function on the Rolly will be controlled um, through contact and it will control the sample start or either the pitch. So for example, here is what it sounds like with the pitch. And for the sample start, it sounds like this. So here is a little demo of what Rolly sounds like in contact now. I also want to show you guys how to use the Rolly light pad in Logic using the notes function. You go right here to the MIDI effects and you add transposer and then you go to the scale that you wanna work in. For this one, I'm just gonna do C minor. And now all of the notes in the C minor scale will be playable on the Rolly light pad so you won't hit a wrong note. I'll show you. just another way for you guys to use Rolly in Logic using external plugins like Contact. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any suggestions or anything that you would like me to go over in another video, just leave them in the comments below. And be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, as well as the little bell so you get a notification every single time I post. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow me on Instagram and on Twitter because I'm able to answer a lot of questions over there much easier then it is for me to maybe see comments sometimes. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.